Here we have the uh, models of a muscle cell, otherwise known as a muscle fiber. Now these two models, even though they look very different at first glance, are actually showing you exactly the same thing. They are both showing you an individual muscle cell filled with individual myofibrils. This one is showing larger myofibrils inside, shows them in much more detail so that we can see more of the individual parts around the myofibrils, whereas this is showing much, uh, many more myofibrils in there, but with much less detail. So again, these are both showing you the exact same thing. This is just a higher level of detail. This is less detail. So we'll look at this one, and then we'll come back in the next video and look at this one. So this model showing, again, the muscle cell. The outside membrane of the muscle cell itself is the sarcolemma, which is nothing but the plasma membrane of the muscle cell. Around that is your uh, endomysium, which is the connective tissue membrane around a single muscle cell or muscle fiber. So as we said in here, each one of these is an individual myofibril. The myofibrils, as you can see here, have uh, are broken up into dark and light bands. So the dark are the A bands that you have here, and then I band, A band, I band, A band, I band, and so forth. The center of each band is a line. So the center of the I band is the Z line, shown as the black line here, and at the center of the dark band is the M line. So each band has a line at its center, I with a Z and A with an M. Then this is showing you a, an axon terminal of a neuron, which has broken off here on this particular one, but you can imagine a neuron coming in here, and your axon terminals here. So the axon terminal that you see in cross-section here uh, shows you the synaptic cleft, which is the actual space in between where the axon terminal comes into the muscle cell, and then on the muscle cell side, you see the little folds. And the folds always indicate the motor end plate, which is simply the part on the sarcolemma where the axon terminal comes in. So this is the motor end plate that you have here. So your altogether, this makes your neuromuscular junction, the neuromuscular and junction for where they join. So your axon terminal, your synaptic cleft, and then your motor end plate are the three parts that together make up your neuromuscular junction. And this over here is showing you the same thing where an axon terminal has been removed so that you can see that motor end plate underneath it and you can see how it's just a folded area of that sarcolemma.